I literally have to script this video because there is by far way too many things to talk about today regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, some updates regarding the new CPUs from AMD, some updates regarding the new CPUs from Intel, a bunch of brand new 4K 240Hz monitors that I wanted to share with you, which to be completely honest, 4K 240Hz OLED displays have completely ruined me, man. And I'm sure that all of you that have actually used one of these things also feel the exact same way so i do have a script here i'm probably going to sound like a robot i never script anything but apparently this is what people want to see so if this video does well i'll continue to do this if it doesn't i'm just going to continue making content the same way i do and sharing things i find interesting and then talking about it rather than shortening everything so that you can have the information and the dopamine hit can be pleased inside of your mind. So first up, Micron's new GDDR7 VRAM is rumored for NVIDIA's RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 graphics cards, and this is promising a really big performance boost with up to 32 gigabytes per second speeds and over 1.2 TBPS bandwidth, potentially delivering a 30% faster game performance across all resolutions and this advanced memory technology is set to enhance gaming and computing experiences by offering superior speed and efficiency. Like I said, fully aware, I suck at reading. AMD, demon <laughs> AMD demonstrated its Ryzen 9 9900X Zen 5 CPU with an impressive performance in the game Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And additionally, the Ryzen 9 9950X CPU was spotted and this indicates AMD's continued push towards high performance processors that is aimed at gamers and professionals ensuring top tier performance in demanding applications. Nvidia is nearing Apple in the race to become the world's second most valuable tech firm driven by the innovations and AI and GPU technology. This highlights Nvidia's growing dominance in the tech industry and its ability to push technology's boundaries, positioning itself as a lead player in the market. You ready for this? I promise I'm not going to get off topic. Only, 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 only $100 billion. Only, only. Can you imagine that? You imagine just having the ability to say that, just having so much money that you're just like only a billion, a hundred billion. Only, just like only. As if that's not like pretty much what the entire population of America makes in a year. <laughs> So, MSI ended up revealing its dragon-themed AI-generated designs for its GeForce RTX 40 GPUs, showcasing a blend of advanced technology and unique aesthetics. This innovative approach demonstrates how AI can be utilized to create both functional and visually striking hardware designs appealing to gamers and tech enthusiasts alike. Now, I want to say something right now. I am literally, the reason I'm covering this is because I'm literally working with a with a company to print out 3d products for our computers whether that's like little action figures like bobbleheads or these like cool like attach on graphics cards like these like like dragons where the whatever you, you get my point like a dragon like clips to your graphics card and then it has this like effect i'm, I'm actually really excited for it uh he's also did not designing my shop shop ugh my uh, e-com store where we're going to be selling like computers we're going to be selling shirts we're going to be selling all kinds of cool stuff and i also am partnering with timu right now i'm still talking with them it's it's kind of like a back and forth game with timu now this is going to be for the gaming channel this is not going to be on the pc channel uh but um so they're going to basically be giving me a thousand dollars per short and i'm going to make three shorts and we're going to go out and we're going to give people some money, some gaming stuff, some some computers and all of that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's a it's a sponsored video. It's literally intended for people to install the Timu app. But I'm very, very excited for that because it's really my whole goal is to be the Mr. Beast of gaming PCs. Nothing to do with subscribers. I could care less how many subscribers I, I mean, obviously, I care how many subscribers. I don't care. Anybody that says they don't is full of crap. But I'm the what I say that is. I mean that I want to get to a point where I am just making enough money, brands are reaching out to me consistently enough where I can start building computers and literally sending them to you guys. And if you are interested, I can even book a plane flight and come help you set up a cool game room like I have in my background. Um, obviously, you wouldn't, I mean, I guess I could kind of do it in a bedroom. Your bed's probably going to take up like 90% of everything, but 
you don't need anything like massive. I have a dedicated room for my game room. So um, that's why I have all this stuff set up is because I have, I wouldn't have this out in like just a normal area. <laughs> But uh, it would be cool to be able to do that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue here. I got way off topic. So at Computex, this is another AMS, MSI article. It said they also showcased its flagship MEG 321URX 4K 240Hz OLED gaming monitor. And this features a cheating AI assistant on it. And the monitor is going to be offering obviously ultra high refresh rates, the AI enhancements, and then it's going to make it a top choice for competitive gamers seeking the best possible for, dude, I really do. I hate, cause I words things like I try to sound more like smart than I am. And I just, I really do. I hate scripting con, but it is what people apparently want. So Samsung at work, I take that back. I probably should not be doing this because to be fair, dude, the views are ridiculous on my channel. I'm getting so many views on my, it's pretty clear to me. I, this is probably the last time I script. Unless this video just some reason blows up, I'm not doing this again because I don't enjoy doing this and I'll just stop uploading if this is like how I'm supposed to make content. <laughs> Samsung announced its Odyssey G8 4K 240. I know third monitor here. Holy moly. The OLED monitor or second monitor, I mean. The price, and this is priced at $1,300. Again, this one has the built-in AI stuff going again. I, I'm not, okay, let's continue here. I don't want to get off topic. The monitor combines a high resolution and fast refresh. I'm not even, that's stupid. Samsung, whatever, they, they released a 4K 240 here. I'm not going to continue with that because it just sounds dumb for me. So XPG's new NIA handheld device is going to feature upgradable LPC AMM2 memory and then the AMD Phoenix APU. And this is going to be priced a little bit under $600. And the device aims to offer high performance and a portable form factor, making advanced gaming and computing accessible on the go. And the reason I'm excited for this dude is because we really only have the, the Steam Deck, the Asus Rogue Alley, and then the MSI Claw. And the MSI Claw is pretty bad. So it's like a competition between the Steam Deck and the whatever asus or i haven't used the legion one the bit like the really big one i haven't used that yet so i'm not 100 sure whether or not whatever that's worth it and then next is intel's panther lake cpus being set to power up the 18a node and the next gen ipc improvements are going to be supporting various segments the advancement showcases intel's commitment on innovation and performance across the pro processor lineup so summary of this entire video micros or Micron's new GDDR7 VRAM for NVIDIA's RTX 5090 and 5080 GPUs promises significant performance boost. AMD's Ryzen 9 9900X Zen 5 CPU impresses in gaming benchmarks, and NVIDIA is nearing Apple in tech value. MSI and Samsung showcase innovative high refresh rate OLED monitors. XPG reveals an affordable high performance handheld, and Intel's Panther Lake CPUs offer next generation performance. I got a little bit off topic. If this video does well with me scripting it, then I will continue to do this. But I'm just being honest with you. I feel like a complete robot reading this. I, I'm bad at reading. There's a reason I like to share articles the way I do most of the time. And it is because I'm able to take in the information and talk about it because I'm interested in it. Whereas when I script this, it's literally me just reading. And it's like, dude, I feel like a moron doing that. But again, maybe it'll please 100% of the people but I'm guessing it won't. And I won't make another video like this if it doesn't do well.